Good day and welcome back to Shadow Ran Hong Kong. We are in Kowloon Walled City. We just saved this street shaman by murdering the gangsters who we are nominally apply, uh, al allied with. Hopefully, we can just claim that they went mad in the city. I'm really hoping to get one karma from this. Street Sam uh, Shaman nods his head in gratitude. Thank you for your help. What are you doing in the Walled City at a time like this? He looks you up and down, his hand unconsciously rises to stroke his beard as his thoughts churn. It's it's a family thing. Enough about me, what's your name? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but now isn't the time for us to be sharing personal details. Don't worry, I'm not asking you for your bank codes or anything. I'd just like to know who I helped is all. My name's Ranico. Uh, I suppose I suppose you're right, and I appreciate what you did for me. I'm Dimolanta. It's nice to meet you. I don't mean to come off as rude, it's just... I've been in the Walled City for some time, everything here is so under the radar, and I needed to disappear. Not too long ago I discovered a bounty on my head. Don't ask why, couldn't tell you. Don't know. But I've already run into one too many runners who's jumped at the chance to turn me in. So you understand my caution. I'm in a pinch. No, more like a vice. I made it my mission to bring down the corpse. With this bounty on my head, it's getting harder and harder to dodge the people who want to catch me in. That's why I'm here in the shithole of the city. The corporations have to pay for what I've done. Uh, for what they've done. <laughs> Please, don't turn me in. Um, yeah, sure. As far as I'm concerned, we've never met. Thanks, stranger. Do you know anything about what's happening to the city? Not much. Just to say, things are bleak and I'm doing my best to stay out of it. But there are saying offices, triads, and residents everywhere. It's like swimming through people's soup. But I don't know why. I just know something big must be going on to earn all this madness. Seen anything strange? Uh, now you mention it. I noticed the locals are acting sort of off. Some are wandering around in a daze. Some are having tantrums and a few of them were even wailing on officers like crazed animals. I thought they might be just pissed about their homes being invaded, but there's something in their eyes. No, it's probably nothing. City's under fire, people are probably just confused and lashing out. Still, be careful of around the civilians. They're strung pretty tight right now. Looks like you're packing a few items there. I'm looking to buy. Can I see what you got? Go ahead. At this point, they're mostly liabilities. You could help me out by lightening the load. Okay, so this is like another opportunity to buy some sweet gear. But no karma. No single solitary point of karma. Just all I need to hit the right level. Push your way forward through piles of filth and through the narrow gaps between buildings, ducking under exposed sewage pipes and battered ductwork. Suddenly you're out through it and on the other side. A slender woman stands a few meters in front of you. An extravagant coat hangs over her delicate frame, the hood pulled low over her face. She's facing you, but you can't make out her features. Behind her, another woman approaches at a trot. She's wearing ballistic armor and has her weapon drawn. The insignature that's been emblazoned onto her shoulder pad is familiar to you. Tsang. Hey! You there! You heard us clear the area and do it now! The inner blocks are off limits to non Tsang personnel. The hooded woman turns to face the approaching guard. My apologies. I got a bit lost. I'm not really familiar with this area. Her tone is silky smooth and perfectly even, almost hypnotic. Strange that she isn't wearing a hood, right? Uh, that's okay, but... She blinks, shakes her head to clear it. Her jaw clenches and you watch her eyes refocus. She shoulders her weapon. Don't try that on me! You make one more sound and I'm gonna... With a motion that's too quick to follow, the hooded figure lashes out, grabbing the same guard around the waist. She bats a startled woman's ha uh, weapon away with her other hand, lunges forward and sinks her teeth into her neck. A spray of arterial blood fills the air and the guard's body goes limp. The hooded figure lets the Sang security officer's body crumple to the ground. She sweeps back her hood and dabs at her lips with her handkerchief. Ah, oh, Kufeng, pleasure to see you again. The pleasure's all mine. You're right on time, by the way. She turns to the square of embroidered fabric in her hand and continues to blot the blood off of her lips. Apologies for the mess. It's like eating soup dumplings. The liquid, liquid ends up getting everywhere, no matter how careful you try to be. I did not expect to hear your voice again, Queen of Repulse Bay. Not since we concluded our lessons. What are you doing here? Why, I'm here to help you, of course. To bask in the misery of the walled city. It's quite intoxicating, you know, the poisonous energy of the place and being at the center of it all. I'm surprised you can't feel it yourself. Good to see you doing well, Kufeng. Good to see you as well, Kufeng. You seem to be doing well. I get by. In any case, let's get down to business. I have a question for you. The thing that has arrived here, this Yama King, what are your intentions for it? I'm going to send it back to the hell that it crawled out of. 
Very good. In that case, I will help you. The energies that your Yama King secretes are quite delicious. I can only imagine they'll become more so at the moment of her death. It's how it works with blood. Why wouldn't this? Why would this be any different? Yeah, I'd be honored to have you fight by my side. Great, sure, why not? Let's bring the bipedal leech on board. What's the worst that could happen? I'm a ghoul, a despised cannibal, and yet I have not attempted to eat anyone on this team in all of our time together. Ku Feng will be much the same. If you cannot trust her, trust me. Got no problem running with a vamp. Let's get this party started. Very good. This is going to be fun. I just got the achievement Monster Squad, because I've got both a ghoul and a vampire on the team. Ooh, I'll take control of these turrets. Although I imagine that this is meant to be a fight. Yeah. Okay, so if you haven't um if you didn't get Ku Feng to ally with you, then that would have been an actual fight. Instead, Ku Feng just kills them and like says, Hey, you wanna join up? And I'm like, Yes. Okay, so nothing to interact with. Alright. Then we're done. Let's leave. So that was superfluous because we'd already done this. Or rather because Ku Feng helped. Your comlink buzzes. It's Raymond. Still alive? Ryan, what is your status? Your mother set a cordon around the inner walled city. We just got through. Cordon? Oh my, how did you get through? You don't want to know. Too much, too much loss of life because of me. It was unfortunate but unavoidable. Please, Ryan, try to avoid more casualties. You need to be careful. The nearer you draw to the fortune engine, the worse the astral disruptions will become. And make sure that when you reach, the call cuts out. Hmm, a most inopportune time to con disconnect. Let's hope what Raymond uh, tried to share isn't vital to our plans going forward. Can we re-establish contact? At this point, it looks like the only thing we can do is move forwards. Lead the way, Raniko. The walled city's mid-ring stands tall before you. It looks even worse than what you just trekked through, a jumbled nightmare of crumbling buildings and exposed wires. A terrible sense of deja vu washes over you. You put one foot in front of the other and press further inside. Okay. Uh-huh. I guess we... Alright, this is a triggered fl flight. Oh, hi there. That is definitely not a friendly looking thing. I think we should fight it. I should probably have actually hit the fight button. That was silly of me. Uh, Alright, let's do this sensibly. You actually do all of these things individually and you mark the target. Izzy marks the target. Then shoots it. Shoots it. Freaking how blessed is this fucking thing? It's amazing and annoying. But yes! 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 Yes. Come on, spend karma. Bing! That means our drones now get 4 AP naturally without any further boost. That is the best news. I'm so glad that I had enough to do that. Okay, this doesn't look promising. The crowd is in a frenzy. They're shouting and screaming at the same security officers who blocked their progress. A dead body lies in a rapidly expanding pool of blood at their feet. They've already shot one of these poor bastards. Any second now, they're going to open up on the rest. I've seen enough riots to know they always end the same way. Tsang security arrived here in force about an hour ago. They've been cordoning off streets and pushing people out ever since. Looks like they're trying to take control of the inner walled city, but the desperate poor have them outnumbered a thousand to one. The inevitable massacre should start any second now. 
The crowd surges back and a burst of gunfire pushes... The surges forward and a burst of gunfire pushes them back. Back away! Back the fuck away! The muzzle of his weapon dips and weaves as he barks out orders. Those in front of the crowd try to backpedal only to run up against those surging forward from the back. I'm warning you, clear the area now! Please, this is a home. Our families are still inside. This is for your own good. We're here to protect you. You can't be here. Back away. This is your last warning. Try to intervene. As you raise your weapon, the saying captain empties his magazine into the crowd. Okay. Well. Well. Right. Rude. Okay, so. Let's do the old action point smuggling thing. Activate. Okay, cool. One moment. Activate both of them. You move up. So first step. Let's see, do we take out the surge first? Ah, uh, you know what, we'll do that. And we'll also... Okay. So, as you saw, 4 AP. Why do we have negative status? Oh, it's just wounded. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I think we can just do... That. And then an aim shot on this guy. And then you, I can shoot at both, good. To do the aim shot, I think we'll do this one. Ah. And then just two regular shots. Hoping to finish him off. Now. Okay, Izzy. That one. Okay, go up it. What I want you to do is get Gaichu faster and then you can run in here Gaichu go over here and eat this man and then go over here and stab this man Kufang eat this person Yeah. And then everyone else gets to run. So, like, try to intervene is very much... A, just try. You can't do anything else. You just try. Oh, I didn't realize that person is was not actually dead. Um, Kufang, kill this man. And again. And again. Got you. Rip this man into pieces. There we go. A detonator? That's not ideal. Why do they have a detonator? Okay, so there's nothing we can get to out there, so I guess we just open this door. What's the debt for? Oh, hi there, Servitor. Huh. Okay, so that's kind of the point here. You hear the muffled sh sound of shouting coming from the west. Multiple voices all calling out for something. Can't hear what they're saying, but they sound like they're in a panic. Great, another one of those things. Can't say I'm thrilled with the prospect of wading deeper into their territory. I have concerns, that's what I'm saying. Um, we should, we've got to push forward, it's not like we've got a choice. Yeah. But, what's through here? A pack of wild-eyed civilians are trapped behind this makeshift barricade. You can hear them speaking, a maddening stew of slurred words, strange noises, all mixed together into an unintelligible stew. Some appear to be crying, others are clearly wounded. 
A group of SANG officers surround the gibbering civilians. They're clearly agitated, as if some as wild-eyed as the people they're accosting. Their body language takes you back to the corporate prison and the years you spent incarcerated there. This is what look, it looked like when the guards were about to remove an inmate from the gene pool. Penned up as they are, the civilians will be helpless to fight back. Unless someone lets them out of their cage, they're as good as dead. They can't go in, Raniko. Not unless you're actively looking to get hurt. I've dealt with these people before. They're not right in the head. What do you mean by not right? Their feeble minds have succumbed to the forces at play in the city. Whatever conscience used to govern their thoughts is degraded or gone. Maybe even for good. They're no longer in control of their actions and they're dangerous. Then what do you suggest? We leave. These people are a threat to us, just as much as the officers are to them. But if you're set on helping them, I suppose you could use that fuse box over there to blow the barricade. Who knows, maybe it'll distract the officers or something. Take a closer look at the explosives. You scan the area, it appears the only way forward is through the barricade, and the, with the officers closing in, you need to make a decision fast. You spot the two debt charges, one rigged to the barricade, the second rigged to the bridge. It looks as though blasting your way forward will also destroy your only known avenue to retreat. Uh, let's do that. If you do this, you could wind up stuck here. So currently it's just access the center. Now, we're gonna do it. Detonate bomb. Okay, yep, cool. Hit the demo button. The explosion is deafening. Waves of concussion crash into you from both sides of the bridge and the barricades disappear in gouts of flame. You stagger and the civilians on the other side of the wall do the same. The same security forces that were threatening them barely managed to stand their ground. Disperse, damn it! Get back or we'll open fire! The guards' voices roar with panic. This is your last warning! The crowd moves as one. Forward with maniac grins on their faces. The leader, a skeletal man in his early twenties, allows his lips to part. He doesn't have a tooth in his head and his tongue is missing. The security officers stand their ground as the screaming masses charge them. They open fire. Well, good thing they missed there, but <sighs> fragging it. Jerks. Okay. Crazy civilians with 70 HP. Joy. Okay. Do you want to try and get a little closer? Not really. Okay. So. Firstly. Do we have any grenades we want to use? Like these ones, for example. Alright, if I move here, I can see them. Good. So then I can go... Like that. And then again. Like so. Good. Gob it. Interesting. So if I go here, what can I put things on? So one of the things I can do is basically try and protect Izzy like so. Um, I will mark a target. Let's say that guy. Got you. I want you to bite this person. Fine, just rip into him. Got you. You were meant to hit. Good thing. How about you go here? And then we're going to noxious breath this one. The loop. Droney McDronison. Good. Ah, of course, because they got basically no armor. 
Unfortunately, my attack rolls are awful. Come on! Ah! Just cannot seem to hit right now. Always with the freaking grenades! Can you stop with the grenades? Revived. That's not good. Okay. How many times do we have to put them down? Hmm. Let's just keep doing this for the moment. What's that do? Rip. And then bite. Better. Less good. Okay, so Kufang. Eat this person. How much health do they have? Don't know. Twelve. <laughs> okay. One more time then. They're dead then. Reload. Go it. Alright, I guess that'll do. And then this one. Okay, so now he's dead. And one more. Line of sight blocked. Ah! And again, and again, and again. How many? How many times are you gonna frag and miss? <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Shoot him. Good. Don't get to revive again. That's good to know. Just die. Just die. Will you just die? Thank you. Okay, so yeah. Basically should have left them to their fate. That's really the lesson there. But oh well. That's life for you. You've been walking for what feels like hours, picking your way through the claustrophobic alleys of the inner walled city. Feels like you're traversing a war zone. Dead bodies litter the gutters. Some have been gutted by gunfire. Others have suffered stranger and more terrible wounds. The rattle of distant automatic weapon fire rings in your ears, intermingling with faint screams of agony and terror. With every step we take, the astral pollution of this place grows stronger. A difficult road to walk, even for me. Well, look on the bright side. After we get through all this, we get to fight a Yama King. Right, we have to keep moving. After all, we can't keep the malevolent go demon gob waiting. Ahead, you can see a cluster of Tsang security personnel. They look to be embroiled in some sort of argument. If they notice you at all, 
they don't show it. Watch them wait. As you watch, one of the officers loses his cool, starts shouting, She's here for us! I've seen her in my dreams! What is here? I don't know what you're talking about, damn it! The security officer lurches towards his partner, his eyes bulging, his body language makes you think of a wounded animal, panicked, terrified, ready to lash out at anything within reach. He shakes his head like a wet dog and focuses on the woman beside him. I know how to keep her safe. I know how to do it. He reaches for an object that's clipped to his belt. Open your mouth. You're crazy, man. Keep away from me. He backpedals, reaching for a weapon, and shouts at the third guard. Get back up! Who's gone insane? Without a word, the third sand guard takes off running. As if on cue, the deranged security officer takes another step forward. This is for the best, Jane. Trust me. I'll do you first, then I'll do me. Light shines on the black eye. He holds a multi-tool in his clenched in his hand. You can see a... It, he's configured it into a set of pliers. By the time I'm done, she won't be able to hurt us anymore. With a flurry of motion, the man with the pliers lunges at his companion. She drops into a fighting stance and meets him head on. Uh huh. Not exactly the confrontation they talk about, but sure. Why not? Uh, move up here. Drony 1, Drony 2, easy, now let's see, let's use that on you, sigh. Sigh. <laughs> One burst, two burst. And you got you. Go. Uh, firstly, what stance do we have? We want metal stance. Go stab a man. Um, game, you meant to actually animate the movement? And again, there we go. And another, okay. Kufe? Why did I haste Kufe instead of Gaichu? Whatever. Bite him too. And there we go. Oh wait, okay, apparently there's still one more, who we couldn't see before. Okay, Izzy, move on up. Let's see. If I move you up to AP worth, what I'm thinking we should do is this line of sight blocked. Perfect. Never mind then. You want to stab him? More saying security up ahead, but these ones are different. They're outfitted in heavier armor, carrying heavier artillery. They look just as adult as everyone else, though. And uh, they hold their weapons leveled at the doorway to the inner walled city. Great, more heavily armed nutjobs. What are they? You hear a deafening crash from the direction of the walled city. The noise is followed by alien piping sound, unlike anything you've ever heard. At the sound of it, the saying troops start screaming. Their faces have gone as grey as ash. You catch a glimpse of something moving towards you. Something fast that seems to defy gravity as it runs. You have a split second to process this be new information before the gunfire starts. Hey there. Uh, you were meant to... Yeah, okay. It looks like that did get to stab him. <sighs> Kufeng. I'd appreciate it if you were to eat this person. was rather unfortunately uh, covering their flanks. I'll move up. Izzy can move closer as well. Go it. Ooh. 
not enough AP to get there, hey? Eh? We'll summon that spirit next time then. Let's see, we go 2 AP here. Aim shot, hopefully enough to kill him. Um. Okay, the whole you can't tell how much hit points someone has with a unit without if you currently are controlling a unit without biotech really kind of annoying aim shot there we go moving up and moving up enemy turn they turn around no, no, focus on them. That's right. That's exactly the ones you want to focus on. The enemy of my enemy is my enemy's enemy. No more, no less. Okay, Izzy, you want to pop over here? And then let's drop this guy's armor. Now, fine, I guess. Summon the spirit. And then release boy. And no wait. All right, let's see. Mana charge. Okay, so basically can create a ley line for us, which is good because it means we can create a ley line in cover, which I'm totally going to do this round. Oh. I said ley line. You can create it anywhere. It doesn't have to be where you're standing. Good to know for future ref. Move up close. And you. Nothing. Okay, gob it. With that, let's move you toward the ley line. Couldn't quite make it there. Really hoping that blocks line aside mostly. Wish there was a way of picking what angle you're coming at. Kufang, I think you're the one, the best candidate to do this. Okay, so we're gonna rip this guy. And then we're gonna punch him. And then we're gonna punch you. And you're going to charge up here. HMHVV lungs. Yep, sounds good. Alright, one, two. Let's uh, do a little bit to both, eh? Even though logic would dictate that what you do is you go for one and then you go for the other. You don't try and fight on two fronts at once unless you are a silly person. Alright, there we go. Oh, nearly dead. Dead next turn, at least. Rude. Yeah, drone. That's the one that should do that. Good plan. Alright, and then these guys continue to go forward. Nice. Moving up. Okay, so. You. Got fireball three, you say. Now, okay. What I want to do is I want to move this one forward. That's three AP to use. Oof. At least I hit one of them, I guess. Now, um, Izzy. he? 
Could you at one point actually hit with your freaking attack or with your freaking mark? It's amazing how terrible you are at doing that. No, don't want to select Isabel. Don't want to select Isabel. Game. Game. Okay. All right. We need to eat someone. I think the server is a good candidate for that. Good, good job. Also hit minus four AP. Yeah, we'll do this. All right, we'll reload you. And then we will just burst by the rigger. Nice, 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 nice. Shoot him in the back. Shoot him in the back. Shoot you. And then you droney. Yes, this is what I want to see. We just stab people and hit people repeatedly until they fall over. Rude. Okay, moving up. And then I guess we just shoot it. I wouldn't want to be that guy. Ah, right. Yeah, so that's an achievement we got for an enemy that is bleeding on fire and infected. Like, yep, things went bad for them. All right, now. You want to just shoot this thing a couple of times? Excellent. Okay, so quick check. Nothing cool around here. And the spirit was even still under our control, or did it die? I wasn't paying enough attention to that. Alrighty, well, I guess that wraps this episode up. And next next time we will go deeper into the, and enter the center of the walled city. Until then, have a great day. Bye.